adventure. Oh, Paimon wonders how Minnie Duran is getting along in Simulanka. Let's go to the Forest of Blessings and take a look. <laughs> Let us shout. Uh, excuse me, what? Here's your two magic tonics. <laughs> Why, thank you, young lady. And might I add that you're looking quite lovely today. Jean, come on, My take a seat first. and let's have a drink. Third I ordered here. one for you as well. Of course, you get a reference. Uh, Half the monster but characters But is this appear. really appropriate? I mean, still worried about Plea? <laughs> Relax, Albedo's with her. She'll be fine. And the only reference of Albedo we'll get. Hiya, and Master Jean. What are you two doing here? I'm gonna zoom, Alice. Oh, look who it is. The Traveler and Paimon. You must be the pleasant surprise that Miss Alice told us about. Greetings to you both. This is one place I didn't expect to run into you two. The locals here well, have been talking non-stop about Alice. some brave heroes who saved the world. Let me guess. You two have been up to your old tricks. Well, mm. not just us. We only played a small part. You could say we were two members of the Heroes Adventure Team. Still sounds mighty impressive to me. As ever, our honorary knight is making us proud wherever they roam. <laughs> nice. Did I hear you talking about Alice and Clee? That's right. We received a letter of invitation from Miss Alice, proposing that we take Clee for a vacation in Fairyland when work dies down. I wasn't sure what she meant by Fairyland at first, but if my eyes are not deceiving me, she was being quite literal. Mm -hmm. Clee ran off excitedly as soon as we arrived. <sighs> I'm a little worried about her, but Albedo insisted he would look after her while we do our own thing. We could hardly say no to such a considerate offer. So I took it upon myself to bring Jean to the nearest tavern we could find. Any excuse for a drink, huh? <laughs> well, we are on vacation. It's only fair that we get to indulge ourselves a little. <laughs> You're right. I should make an effort to relax and unwind. It's what Miss Alice would want, after all. <laughs> oh, wait, Kaya? What exactly did you order from the bar? No, no, let him. special, of course. Best way to get a taste of the local culture. Let him find out. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, <laughs> hold up. Why are you making that face, Paimon? Mm, no reason. Uh, nothing. Paimon's just perpetually amused by your lifestyle, that's all. Go on, drink up. Hmm. Something tells me I need to tread carefully here. Let's see. It's got a lovely color, but how about the taste? And there it is. Hmm, I think maybe I'll pass. But it's such a shame to waste it. <laughs> Alright, Paimon. Well played. Well, you played yourself. Well, Paimon got burned too, if it's any consolation. It's nothing personal. <laughs> nothing personal. Oh, Still by the way, to make it we personal. weren't the only ones who got invited here. I saw Kale earlier. Oh. She didn't see me, though. She was making a beeline for that big tree. The Kingdom of Breezes and Bells, you mean? Oh, hmm. this is turning into a huge reunion. Maybe we should go say hi to her. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if they're doing this on All purpose. Right. Well, give her my regards. And I wonder if Tignori is here. They'll do. Thank you. Enjoy your time here, too. Interesting. Kind of disappointed. For once during its mention, and Albedo is nowhere to be on screen. What a disappointment. Mahoya, seriously. We had the opportunity to actually do something. Give Albedo some more story. And give us some more tangible threads to his story. And this is where it is. <laughs> what a slap in the face. Well. Oh, okay. 
Well, that's kind of nice. Make it wherever we get. I guess a one last catch up with everyone before, well, quite frankly, going to war. I guess this would be the appropriate term. No, Kala's here. I thought Tignori or someone was here with her. The structure of the treehouse is here is nothing short of amazing. <laughs> I have to write it down so I can tell Master Tainari all about it later. Hey, Kale! Uh, oh, you scared me. Traveler and Paimon, you got invited here too? Yep. Well, they sort of skipped the invitation part, but anyway, what you doing out here? Something caught your eye? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to observe and summarize the structures of the trees here, and also the animals that live here. Uh, well, the residents, I guess? I still can't get over the fact that they're all someone's origami handiwork. Once a forest ranger, always a forest ranger, huh? Not <laughs> sure you'll be able to apply much of what you learn here back home, though. With this being a magical world and everything... What? Over there, by the giant footprint. Have those houses always been there? Oh, those? The local flying squirrels told me that they were built by a small dragon and some guy wearing a hat. Oh, that must have been Minnie Durin and Hat Guy. Uh, any idea where they went? Supposedly, after building the houses, they went to somewhere called, uh... Constellation Metropole? Did I say that right? Yep. Yep, you got it! Oh, also, when the locals mentioned the dragon, did they seem at all... Uh... Did they say how they felt about him at all? Hmm... Now that you mention it, the atmosphere changed a little when they talked about him. Oh no... They mentioned some stuff along the lines of... Past misunderstandings and welcoming new members. I only just got here, so I know very little about what has happened in the past. They seemed genuinely grateful for the houses, though, and said they were going to plan a welcome party. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. Sounds like the forest has begun to accept him. It's a step in the right direction. Are you looking for that small dragon? <laughs> a yeah, dragon. He's a new friend we made after we arrived here. No way! Really? I'm getting more and more interested in your story. Uh, no, no, no. I've got to save it for next time. For now, I've got to make the most out of my time in this wonderful world. Oh, there's no rush. Just take it slow and enjoy yourself. Like Kaya. Oh, he sends his regards, by the way. Oh, Mr. Kaya is here too? Then I've got to go say hi to him. Well, right now he's at the tavern, and he probably won't be leaving until he's drunk. Not that he'll ever reach that point, because his alcohol tolerance is so high. Basically, it's Kaya. You know where to find him. <laughs> <laughs> you make a good point, Paimon. Then I'll focus on exploring for now, and go catch up with him later. Shall we go pay a visit to the Metropole Traveler? Maybe Minnie Durin and Hat Guy are still there. <laughs> oh, right. By the way, something pretty interesting has been happening in Sumero recently. Master Chinari has been working really hard on it, so if you have time, definitely go and check it out. Hmm. Sounds good. We'll found some time in our schedule. Uh, enjoy your field trip? Of course. See you later. Just curious. What's down here? <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Weird. What? Well, well, well. Are my eyes deceiving me? There is no way. I can't believe it. Hey, Mona! We heard you muttering from a long way away. What's up? You can hear oh, muttering from across the stars. Oh, it's you, the saviors of this world. My scry glass is fine, but I'm not sure I can say the same about my eyes. What, you don't like seeing your master? Look, look at this statue. Yep. What? Is it broken or something? 
Looks fine to Paimon. That's your master, right? A.K.A. the Goddess of Prophecy? Mm, I refuse to believe it. There's no way that old hag looks anything like this. <laughs> Maybe she did when she was younger. When she was younger? Oh, actually, now that you mention it, this does remind me of the fashionista phase she wrote about in her diary. <laughs> she can't hear me, can she? I swear <clears throat> I just got chills down my spine. <laughs> that would have been funny uh, with the statue that she looked at her. probably a little rude to talk about her right under her statue. But how do you know it's a statue of her if you never saw her as a young woman? <laughs> Touché. I did a quick scry when I came into this world, and when I saw the star's reflections, I was at a loss for words. It looks like fate in Simulaka is based directly onto that. Ooh. A projection of real-world fate to form an image of reality. Or in layman's terms, uh, basically, the creator made this world inside a mirror or a lake, and this world is the reflection. Still sounds pretty impressive. The more I scribed, the more familiar everything looked. It's her work, there's no doubt about it. Well, Even so, just her everything's work. far more complex than I'd imagined. Trying to decipher it all is giving me quite a headache. I also asked the locals about her. They call her she who has dominion over the stars and the course of fate itself. Not even a pretense of humility. Clearly, she let the role of creator goddess skip to her head. Mm. Not that I'm surprised in the least, of course. It certainly matches the tone of her diary. <clears throat> anyway, we should change the topic. Is oh, there so problems? Mona, have you seen a small dragon around by any chance? He's about the same size as Paimon, but with tiny little wings. Ah, you mean the one that caused all that trouble. I haven't seen him for myself, but I heard that he came to the Metropole not long ago to formally apologize for his actions. Apparently, he brought a huge stash of titanium and plant oil to make amends. Most people accepted his apology, although there are some who said that they'll reserve judgment until they've seen how he acts in the future. Oh, okay. Do you know where we could find him? One moment. And it's Mona, so she gotta just go out of her way. Also appreciate she has Klee's constellation. <laughs> ah, it looks like he's at the Broken Sea. There's a big group of people with him, too. Cool! Wanna come with us? We can introduce you! Hmm... I think I'll sit this one out. This might be the closest I ever get to meeting the old hag in her youth, so... I think I'll spend some time seeing what else I can glean from her grand design. Uh, you guys have fun. <laughs> be careful, Mona. What, what do you mean, be careful? Now you're making me nervous. We'll be off now. See you later, Mona! <laughs> no reason. It's kind of nice. Probably the closest we'll ever get to confirmation about her. <laughs> Osvaldo Hafnabines! <laughs> Does thou see what I am seeing? I was not expecting Tell that. Tell me that my all perceiving Aug de Verertelung deceiveth me not! Your eyes see true, main Fräulein. And I feel better for officials, VA. <laughs> Very well. Then, as sovereign ruler of the Imanakreis, I extend to you both my greetings, O Night you Dragon know, from the land of the Thousand that Stars here. and his hat wearing servant. So, because we had a summer of Who did you just her? call a servant? <laughs> what main Fräulein means to say is, hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, Oz. Pleasure to meet you, too. <laughs> but Hat Guy's not my servant. He's my friend. <sighs> now you're over-explaining. <laughs> Hat Guy, Mini Durin! Found you at last. Whoa, and Fischl's with you, too? <laughs> oh, greetings, Outlander, blessed by the Imanakreish. How honored you are to meet your princess in beneath the stars of another sky. Clearly, a decision made by fate itself. <laughs> I echo your sentiments, your highness. Miss Honorary Knight! Oh, Jesus Christ! 
I got exploding onto the scene. And look who's here. Greetings. You both look well. Hey there, Glee! Have you been having well, fun well, here? Well, well, it's like a family reunion. Yep, loads and loads of fun. There are so many Hopefully you didn't blow something up. And a magic train that was really long. And a huge, huge castle. And a king lives there and everything. <laughs> I've been taking Glee to see all the sights. It's been a very enriching experience. Alice's magic is truly outstanding. Yeah, Mom's amazing. Klee wants to build a great big house now, too. <laughs> so, your mom and my mom were friends? Mm-hmm. Our moms were friends, which makes you my big brother. My mom used to read your mom's stories to me all the time. They were great. Big brother? <laughs> You're part of the family now. Wow. Thank you, Klee. Can I go play with Klee, hat guy? Suit yourself. <laughs> Albedo, Albedo, can I? Just don't blow something up. Go on. Uh, just don't go too far away. I'll come pick you up later. <laughs> AK, let Yay! the adults talk. Come on, Minnie Durin. Because I Do imagine this is an awkward... Too official? An awkward topic. <laughs> Your princess and accepts your invitation. <gasps> Rejoice! Though you uh, may be feel concealed for by fog, this. still you shall have the good fortune to witness the true might of the Aug de Bertelang. What Mame Fräulein means to say is, perhaps we can all play hide and seek together. Mame Fräulein is it. <laughs> Hooray! I love hide Thank God and seek. Oz is there to translate. Oh, me too. <laughs> to return to our previous discussion, Mr. Hat Guy, you were telling me about a prophecy? I heard B talking to M. What she said was... Since you're so persistent, let me tell you a secret. Mm. Our child will one day rise from the dead. Wait, as in Durin? Is she saying that Dragon Spine Durin will come back to life? You know what? I'm not surprised. I only heard it in a memory, so don't hold me to it. Understood. My recent observations at Dragon Spine lend credence to this prophecy as well. Durin's heart has slowly but surely been growing in vitality. The process is extremely slow, but the trend is clear. What should we do? To start with, plan for every potential scenario. Including, of course, the worst case scenario. <sighs> I am well aware of Durin's past, and I sincerely hope that things never escalate to that point. Still, we need to be prepared for every possibility. If the so... prophecy is true, and Durin's heart will one day beat again, I'd like to hope that whatever rises from the dead is no evil dragon, if you understand what I mean. Kind of? But not really. And so, when the time comes, Mr. Hat Guy, will you and Simulanka's Durin be willing to lend us a hand in our hour of need? Huh? What's this got to do with me? You save the Durin of this world. I don't see that as a mere coincidence. <laughs> if there is any meaning to be read into the actions of the three goddesses, beyond fairy tale whimsy alone, I can only boldly speculate that the fate of this reflected world may have a reciprocal effect upon our own world. If Durin of Dragonspine will soon come back to life, we oh, will need many cool Durin's that's help, part of Nadlin's story. as well as yours, given that your fates mean... are now intertwined. I wonder that question. Does that mean <sighs> oh, Dragon's Spine will get its environmental to be sure, change? It certainly won't be easy. Albedo, Albedo! There's a flying paper ship over there! <laughs> Can we go see it together, please? Sure. Uh, two seconds. I'll be right with you. 
please give my suggestion some thought, Mr. Hat Guy. <laughs> Hat Guy, I'm back! Huh? What were you guys talking about? <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> this is huh. awkward. Okay, then. Let's go join the others. Everyone's going to check out the new origami ship. All right. I'll be right there. Are you worried about Durin? Why would I be? Do I strike you as someone who cares about other people's issues? Quit trying to guess what I'm thinking. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's written all over your face, pal. Oh, that's cool. Aww, what a lovely little boat! The forest fairy helped us make it! Paimon just realized there's a lot fewer people around the Broken Sea now. Guess most of them have made their way back to the Metropole. Does this boat have a name? I can't see one anywhere. Huh? A name? Mm-hmm. Every boat has a name. At least, all the ones I've seen before. <laughs> They're Kinda usually ironic. symbolic names that represent something aspirational. Hmm. Hmm. I'm realizing it's kind of funny to have Let's almost go every with character. The Durin. It's huh? appeared in a summer you event. You want to name it after me? Oh, you mean to wish Mini Durin a safe voyage as he sails into a new chapter of his life beyond this world? Your princess approves. Let this vessel bear the name of the most esteemed dragon of the night. The Durin. <laughs> Let's call it that then. Thank you, hat guy. <laughs> also, can I ask you a favor? Go on. Remember how Mom's friend said I should be able to leave this world? Well, I want to pay a visit to your world. Just a quick trip, can we? Huh? That is a very uh, interesting question. Is that a no? Paimon thinks that's a great idea. If the people of Simulanka are allowed to go to Tevat, then what's the problem with taking Mini Durin there for a visit? I'm assuming I'll have to be your bodyguard while we're there. I... I can protect myself! And I'll do what you say! I won't fly off on my own, I promise! Please, can I go? This is gonna be interesting. <sighs> we'll It'll be up to you to stick close. If you disappear on me, don't expect me to come looking. Got it! I'll stick close! Why don't you take the Durin? Now you've given it a name, it'll be a maiden voyage for the boat, and a brand new journey for you. Are you leaving, Mini Durin? Okay. Well, make sure you come visit me in Mondstadt so we can play together again. <laughs> we will draw you a map to show you the way. Though our time together has been as fleeting as a ray of light in the depths of the long night, God, the Imanok will welcome dialect. you with the grandest of music ceremonies on the occasion of our next reunion. As surely as the stars in the sky watch over us, we shall meet again. What Main Fräulein means is that you're always welcome to visit her at home as well. Cool! Oh, I have so many new friends now! I'm so happy! <laughs> <sighs> Are you done yet? If you want to leave, then get over here. T take care. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much! The blessings you gave me are more precious than any treasure and more beautiful than any fairy tale. <laughs> Next time, it will be my turn to make your wishes come true. <laughs> I'll hold you to it. Wow, Samaru City. Oh, that was very nice. The roundabout and everything. Definitely, uh, feels like this summer event, they, uh, weren't trying to hide what will be played out with, um, the, 
the events for Natlin's story. Oz, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, though I customarily refer to you as my familiar, in truth, I, I have always seen you as. Say no more, main Fräulein. I, Osvaldo Horafnavines, hereby pledge to always stay by your side. Hmm. <laughs> Quite rightly so. The Princessin should expect no less from her most favored Nachtrabin. I couldn't agree more, main Fräulein. Hmm. <laughs> That's too sweet. But, either way, this was fun. Trying to like think back on so many previous events, summer events, and I'm just like, man, it's hard to say which one, which ones are my favorite. It's hard to say this one's my favorite now, cause it's just because of what the story was going for. But also, that's really concerning. The just mic drop moment of yeah, Durin, as in. Durin over in Dragonspine might just come back to life. And it's just like, oh boy. I hope he ain't back for, uh, <laughs> back for vengeance. But we'll just have to wait and see where that thread of the story goes. And I hope that is part of Natlin's story quest. But, anyway, this was a fun one. I enjoyed it. I know the summer events, they don't really... Well, more like they go all out for them. But they don't really stand out, but this one definitely feels like it stands out on its own. Anyway, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll be seeing you all next time.